Welcome to the stand of the Publications Office of the European Union at the Frankfurt Book Fair. The Publications Office publishes since 1952 the EU law and the publications from all institutions, agencies and other bodies of the European Union. But how can people access this information? Well, the Publications Office manages four websites. Let's discover them with all my colleagues. My name is Paula Pepe and I work for the Publications Office and this is Carl Ferrand from the first service, Cordis. Carl, how does it work with Cordis? What is this and who can use it? So Cordis is the European Commission's Community Research and Development mm -hmm. Information Service. Uh, it's been available since 1990 and it collects all the projects uh, that are funded under the EU's research framework programs. So at the moment we have uh, 89,000 projects that have been uh, stored in Cordis over the years and this is the core of our, of our information which is freely available. Uh, of course uh, this information is maybe a bit research or a bit scientific so we try and close this gap by rewriting this information and translate it in, into uh, six languages. And these are information we can offer to the public, to uh, entrepreneurs, and close the gap between research and innovation. Uh, we also have other services like a daily news service. We have a, a magazine we produce with the information. Uh, and recently we've launched a new service called the Partner Service, which is like a social network for, mm -hmm. uh, for researchers. Uh, the idea here is to allow researchers to get together, collaborate across borders, build their proposals together, and uh, find out how they can collaborate in this new uh, service. We're quite excited about it because it's uh, something new for a European Union website uh, and we hope this will complement in the, the core information we have already. Hi, what did you find? I found one of Eurostat's pocketbooks. And uh, I know Eurostat's publications, they're usually extremely good. And I like their pocketbooks very much. For the simple reason, actually, that they fit into your pocket. <laughs> so they, they, they do, do these specialized pocketbooks on various subjects. Huh? And uh, I always found them interesting because it means that you can really get all the key data on that particular area and take it with you. From Eurostat, you always find what you're looking for. And they do both the the tables of course and they do graphs which make it easier to read so uh, I find that Eurostat uh, although their database is fantastic their publications are still very very good let's now discover the second website managed by the European Union Publications Office which is Eurlex and to explain that we have here Madame Pascal Berthelot please Madame Berthelot can you explain to the public what is Eurlex well, first we have to know that EU law is very important, that it's an important source of law in all 27 member states. Uh, so uh, ULEX is the central database which gives access not only to legislation but also to case law and to other documents around the law and which uh, is the symbol of democracy because it gives the citizen the access to EU, uh, EU law. Now, Eulex is available in all 23 official languages of the EU and uh, it offers uh, search facilities and we continuously uh, try to um, uh, improve uh, the search and to make it more user friendly. Uh, now, for example, if uh, you want to know uh, what EU legislation or what the EU did about the quality of drinking water, you can find, for example, the regulation about the quality of drinking water and also the case law which is related to that regulation. We also give references to uh, national legislation and to national case law about the same subjects which are uh, dealt with in Eurlex on EU law. Um, now, uh, ULEX is a very important source and uh, it has millions of documents because we go back to 52. So even documents which are not in force, you can research and see also the evolution of the EU law uh, through ULEX. 
I think these are the main uh, elements and of course you need more information. We also have it here on the stand. And the access is free? The access is free. The Thank access you. is free and uh, even people can reuse the, the content. For example, if you want to uh, publish or to make a new collection on legislation on environment with a case law related to uh, this legislation, you could, for example, take the documents from Ulex and make your own collection. Hi, what is this? Hi, it's um, a lot of creepy crawly things. But the gorgeous colors, um, gorgeous shapes. I just love them to look at, but not so much to feel. What kind of book is this? It's actually a book on soil. So these are the things that are living in the soil, but we're not actually seeing them with our bare eyes. So it's nice to see them in the book presented like that, but uh, I have more respect for things that are living underground. <laughs> just wanted to show you the title. It's, it's on biodiversity. so. Uh, there's both sort of the creepy crawly things, but also wonderful maps in here. And it's a scientific publication. It's quite a scientific one. It's put together by the scientists at the Joint Research Center, together with many other scientists around the globe. But it's, I think, written in actually quite a friendly way. So it's something also a teacher can use in the classroom. Let's discover now the third online service of the publication's office, which is called TED. And we have here my colleague, Glenn Campbell. Glenn, what is TED? TED stands for Tenders Electronic Daily. It's the electronic marketplace for public procurement opportunities, uh, business opportunities in the EU and in the European economic area and even beyond. Every day it's updated in 23 languages um, and you can find hundreds of business opportunities every day. Now maybe I can explain a bit more about how it works. And basically, um, uh, national, regional and local authorities, they place uh, contract notices on the website, TED, and companies can see them in their language and, and companies can stay informed via RSS uh, feeds or email alerts. Um, and the website is ted.europaeu. And it's all free. And it's all free. Hi, hey, you look uh, very busy here. What are you discussing about? Hello, we are having a meeting with a private publisher. They are the publishers who publish a book for us. You provide a manuscript, very interesting topics like you see the recently published the EU economy. Then we have another subject, finance. We have science, we have sustainable development and for example, some as well education and training subjects. So these are co-editions? Yes, we cooperate with the private pi partners who gives to our manuscript the added value, like the nice cover, then uh, in fact they do the manufacturing, dissemination and the sales. Thank you, I'll let you work then. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hi, oh nice publications, what is this? Oh, well, this is uh, a collection of stories for children about the environment published by the Commission's Director General for the Environment. So here I can show you some of the yes, stories please. that have been published uh, over the last years and which have been uh, extremely uh, popular with children. Uh, actually, they're little stories that uh, are meant to raise awareness about the environment and also encourage good environmental behavior with children. And they are available in all languages? They are available in all languages and you can download them from the EU bookshop. And uh, as ebooks have become an increasingly popular medium to access publications, we decided to also publish these little storybooks as real ebooks. That's why you have this device, please, yes. So um, we decided to publish uh, these stories in a collection which is actually called uh, Stories to Help You Understand Our Environments. And within one single ebook, we have grouped a collection of stories that have been published over the last years. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, we have created these ebooks in a format which is open and that can be read on uh, any multimedia tablet independently of the brands. 
and you can also read it on electronic ink devices but also on your computer. And this is free? And they are absolutely free of charge. We have discovered three services, TED, Urlex and Cordis. It's now the turn of the U-Bookshop, the online digital library of the European Union. On U-Bookshop you can browse among 85,000 titles in more than 23 languages and you can download free PDF or order paper copies. All this is for free. As you can see, there is a lot we can offer you through our websites. In case of questions, do not hesitate to contact us. So thank you and goodbye from the Frankfurt Book Fair 2011.